Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. So this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I'm torn on this one because if we go with how WWE traditionally books things, technically Seth Rollins was down and out on Raw, which means that he is not losing at the pay-per-view. Because usually the one who gets the upper hand loses. Um, And it's hard for me to say that Nakamura is going to win. Because I felt like Finn had every opportunity to be the winner against um, uh, Seth at SummerSlam. There was literally no reason for Finn to lose. Like All the momentum was behind Finn and they still didn't do it. So that's why it's like really hard for me to completely say... You know, this is Nakamura's time because, well, it was Finn's time and they, they, they didn't do it. So, and they did that. So, I, yeah, I, I feel something different with Nakamura. Seth is banged up. He said that he needs surgery. Wrestling's, or not only wrestling, but WWE is in a good spot right now where their top guys can take a month or two or wait, if he did get surgery, hold on before I have this take fully, if he gets surgery, is he missing the rumble and mania? I think so. I don't know about mania. Gonna, That's eight, gonna... seven, eight months. But it's when you're back. talking about two fractures in your back, it's back. It's different. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, that's that is when I, I don't know because when it's, when it's your back and your neck, like, they are way more cautious because I mean, it's like literally your livelihood. Like you can't just be like, Oh yeah, you should be fine. And we'll just send you out there. We'll clear you. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it's possible. He would, I think if he did get surgery, he's for sure missing the rumble. Shinsuke winning doesn't have to be dependent on. Oh, I Rollins agree. Leaving though. You know, I, like, I agree. I'm just saying, yeah, we go continue. Um, yeah, so I was gonna say, I, I don't think that it has to be just because he's leaving that Shinsuke wins. I think that, um, if he's going to win, Seth could still be around for a little bit, but I do think, yeah, like because they're making it such a focus in the storyline, and they don't normally do that when it's like a real injury. Obviously, those are things that we don't really know about, hence why mm-hmm. we didn't know about it until he revealed it on that podcast. Um, yeah. I I feel like there's probably a reason we know about it, and it might be, yeah, because he does have to take time off. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one, but... <sighs> Either, you know, Shinsuke wins or Seth wins, mm-hmm. but they're both exhausted. Priest comes in and... Judgment Day really do walk out of payback with all the gold. Well, my immediate thought is without thinking about the Judgment Day, um, is Seth, yeah, if Seth wins or Shinsuke wins and then Damien cashes in, that's an yeah. easy way for them to write Seth off exactly how they had um, Bianca written off because Bianca's gone right now. She's either yeah. gone for weeks or months. They don't know. But that was exactly what happened with her. They were in the triple threat. She won the, the women's championship and then was immediately yeah. cashed in on. And then it's like we haven't seen her since. So it's not like, oh, well, Bianca is now going to in, be in a feud with EO. No, there's the, like she's taking time off. That would be a way for Shinsuke and Damien to feud, maybe. Or some, I mean, that's still a weird feud, though because they're both bad guys right now. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, that seems likely, because then at least it gets the title off Seth and allows him to take time off. 